Hello and welcome to Informatica Supports Video KB session. In this session, we are going to see how to create a data transmission project which can take in a COBOL epsitic data file and convert it to XML and vice versa. To do this, we need the COBOL copybook uh, definition for the data which we want to convert to XML. And once we have that, we'll use Data Transformation Studio's import project wizard to create a project. Since it's a wizard, we need not do any development work. The wizard will take care of creating the entire project for us. So let's go ahead and see how to do this. So I've opened the Data Transformation Studio now. So first, like I told you, we need to import the copybook through the import wizard. So this is how you do it. Go to File, New, Create a New Project. Here, usually we create a parser or serializer project depending upon what we want to do. Choose, for this purpose, choose Import Project. And let's give some name. And next. And here, this is the import wizard provides two options. One is if you want to import PDF form, another one is COBOL program. So here we have to choose COBOL program. Next. And we have to now choose the copybook definition. So once we do this and finish, this may take a, a second or two. This wizard will create the project if you go and see, there are two TGPs, one is a parser, one is a serializer. So based on the definition of the data which the copybook has provided, this wizard will create the complete project. So we need not do anything. If you open the parser, whatever is needed to convert this EBCDIC data to XML, everything is available here based on the copybook definition. So all we need to do now is plug in the actual source file here, choose the local file and plug in the actual source file. And just go ahead and run the project. Uh, that's all that's required to convert this project will run for a long time, so that's why I'm not running it right now, but that's all you need to do. So once you do this, the EBCD, COBOL EBCDIC data will be converted to a XML output file. And you see the project automatically created, a, uh, the a wizard automatically created a serializer too. So once this COBOL data is converted to XML, then let's say you have a, a need to convert that XML back to the uh, uh, COBOL EBCDIC format, you can use the serializer Again, you need not do anything. The serializer is completely built by the wizard. So all we need to do is run the serializer and choose the XML file that needs to be converted back to the COBOL EBCDIC format. So thanks for uh, watching the uh, video. Uh, we, uh, once again, we saw how to create a data transformation project to transform COBOL EBCDIC data to and from XML. Uh, we would love to hear from you. If you want to send your feedbacks, you can send it to supportvideos.informatica.com. Also, you can send it to uh, send it at twitter.com/infosupport. Thank you.